Hello everybody, so today is a very special day because today I get to see if Allegiant has gotten any better. So the newest Allegiant trailer was released yesterday, and I did not even know it got released yesterday, so here I am the day after doing a trailer reaction for you guys. And I'm really hoping that this trailer is better than the previous ones. We all know that those really disappointed me. <laughs> so let's hope that this trailer is better. Ah, uh, so I'll be listening to the trailer with headphones on so that there's no copyright issues because that would not be fun. Oh, I like the music. It's good music. Nice aerial shot. Oh, here's Tris coming through the forest. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, hey Caleb. Hey Bay. Why are they like spider monkeys up a wall? Okay. I mean, at least I'm still liking the music. I mean, it's not a place that I thought it was either. I mean, what the heck? I'm trying to remember if Allegiant took place on Mars because it sure did in that trailer. It's like the Martian movie had a baby with the Allegiant movie and the outcome was this trailer. What the heck was that? Okay, um, you know, I did not have high expectations going to this trailer, so I'm not very disappointed in what I saw. I'm just disappointed that it got even worse than the rest of the trailers I witnessed before. At least in the rest of the trailers, I could see at least hints of the book in the trailer, but in this one, it looks like a completely different film and book, definitely. Like, honestly, I don't mind directors and writers taking creative liberties in book to movie adaptations because sometimes they're for the better. But this is for the worse. Last time I checked, Divergent was a dystopian novel and what I saw was a science fiction novel. What was that? There was like flying spaceships, there was like a freaking space station that was supposed to be the airport O'Hare which I fly into every single month when I go home so I know what it looks like and it does not look like that even in the future I doubt it looks like that. It looks like a freaking space Space Station from a sci-fi novel. And then the music, can we talk about the music for a second? I love the music, I thought it was great music, but adding that music into this trailer just was very weird because it was a weird mix of intensity and spa music. I know. Also, what the heck were those bubbles that encased Tristan for? Last time I checked, they don't need bubbles when you're out on the Earth's atmosphere because there's this great thing called oxygen. You can breathe that and it really helps you. Like, I, I don't know about you, but I like breathing it often. So I have no idea what the purpose of those bubbles are, who knows, but I'm just so confused by this trailer, I don't know what to expect anymore. I do not recognize anything I just saw at all, like, when comparing it to the books. Ah! At least we got some Tristan 4 time, I mean, like, we got to see Shirtless 4, which I'm always keen about, because he is very attractive, and I like seeing him shirtless. I mean, he's single. So... Yeah, yeah, well, mm, yeah, mm. Am I impressed by that trailer? No. Do I think the CGI of that trailer is intense and insanity? Oh yes, it is insanity how much CGI they've been using in these films. The first film, Divergent, is fantastic, and that's not because I was in it. I actually just really enjoyed the Divergent movie. They did not overuse CGI. And then Insurgent, they started adding more and more CGI in, slightly overusing it. And in this film, Allegiant, I have a feeling that the people even be created by CGI, because why why not just go all the way? Hey, why do we need actors when we use CGI? I don't know. Okay, I feel like I'm so negative about this trailer. I don't know. I just have been so disappointed by it and everything that I've seen so far. And I was really hoping that they would recover from Allegiance failures and kind of, I mean, Insurgence failures. I mean, we're not sure if Allegiance totally gonna fail right now, but it's on the route to. I hope that they would recover from Insurgence failures 
but obviously they're kind of just adding on to those failures and creating a legion. Will I still be seeing the movie? Oh yes, I'll still be seeing this movie. Will I like the movie? I'm not sure, maybe I will like it from a moviegoer's point of view, but not a reader's point of view, because I've read the book, I know what happens in the book, and if it's not executed in the movie in the way I like, I probably wouldn't like it from a reader's point of view. But from the moviegoer's point of view, I may like it, who knows? I still think that they're overdoing it on the CGI more than they actually need to, but yeah, so this has been a thing. This is a thing that happened. I mean, at least they got to go see Mars. I mean, that's cool. Even though the Mars was Earth, but you know, I'm gonna call it Mars because that's what it looks like. Help, Mark, Watney. Get it, the Martian, okay. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your opinions on this trailer down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I don't know, let me know. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.